Night of Hunters is the uh, new CD, and that's Tori Amos and your beautiful daughter, my lord, honey. It's like yesterday you had her, and there she is almost a grown up. I know, I can't believe it. She's 11. Now, she does not look 11. No, she doesn't. Yeah, I mean, she's, I know she's made up for the video, but she has a maturity about her. Is that scary for the mom? Well, it is a bit scary, yeah. but she's been around the world six times, so she's right. been on tour since she was 12 months old. And so she's, her math skills are coming along, but she knows how to get you to Bora Bora. Well, and that's and, important. Uh, yeah. Yes. And, and she, she knows what shark um, ride not to take. She knows all these things. Now, she um, is obviously interested in performing. I could not get my kids to do that. I've tried to get a kid in show business for 16 years. They're not interested. I begged her to be a veterinarian. I said, anything but show business, anything. Please, please, I'm begging you. And she said, in her British accent, mummy, that's not really fair, is it? Whoa. That's what I should have done. I should have begged them to do something else. <laughs> you know, I was like, please, just do a little song with me. They're like, no, no interest. She said to me, I was writing this story for Deutsche Grammophon. Night of Hunters is a song cycle, so it has a story. Right. And um, she would ask me what this story was about, and I would, I would talk to her about it. And she said, no, that's not what this can character Annabelle should say. She said, Annabelle needs to ask this woman, is it you, Mom? Why are grown-ups so stupid that they don't solve their problems before they drag the, kill th the kid through hell? And I thought, you know, maybe you are Annabelle. So she helped me develop the character of Annabelle. Well, that's fascinating. Do most of your albums have that kind of... I think, for me, listening to your albums like Little Earthquakes, I make my own story through the songs, right? I make my own characters, but do, do you do that often? No, this was unusual. It this, was. This was a... Not a musical, but a song cycle in classical terms has, has a story through right. music. And she plays the character Annabelle, and my niece plays the fire muse, who's 19. And they get along really well. I'm not an actor, so I needed to work with people that, where it was honest. Yeah. And I had a relationship with. Right. And now she's, she's in boarding school. Two of my kids are as well. Are they? Yes. Did you ever think that you would have a kid go to boarding school? Never, never. Me never, either. Never. never. In fact, you know, she said, I want to go to Hogwarts. <laughs> and I said, tough, tall order. Right. And so she found Sylvia Young, this school. She has been acting since she was six. And she discovered the blues when she was nine. And she walked in and said, Mommy, I've discovered the blues. I've got it all sorted out now. Oh, wow. I said, oh, OK. So, so she decided, I'm going to Sylvia Young. And she had to work really hard. To she had to audition, you know. She, yes. It doesn't work like that. You can't make a phone call. It's right. not like that. Right. Does she play piano? She does. But her thing is singing, acting, and dance, really. Does she comment to you about your stuff? Like, does she have a favorite song or a favorite album? She does. I mean, I think, I think that she's been on so many tours and seen so many shows. She's grown up with it. Yes. That she knows the repertoire backwards and forwards. She does a very good impression of me. She does. She can put on a red wig and imitate me. Oh, yeah. She's a comedian, really, at heart, I think. That'll help her in acting. I think so. Especially she's stunning looking. She's gorgeous. She has sort of an ethereal look. She, she is, and she doesn't. I was listening to some of the mothers talking about their daughters shocking them, and Tash shocks me, but not in that way. She doesn't dress in a provocative manner, and yet what comes out of her mouth sometimes I think I'm very hard to shock. Yeah. You're hard to shock. Yes, I am. But how does she shock you? Like, she'll just say anything? She has, yeah. like, no, no boundaries? Or? Oh, she has boundaries. She it's does. all very thought out. Really? We're eating macaroni, for example. And there's been a show that week about a, a gay boy who tried to come out to his parents in England. Mm -hmm. And the parents were very against it. And tragedy struck. And, and it's a very unfortunate story, but it happens everywhere. All the time, yeah. And so we were having dinner, and I said, Tash, you're going to boarding school. If you come back to, to Dad and to me and say, you know, Mom, I've discovered I'm a lesbian. We love you. We love you. What, whatever you discover, and you want to, as long as you're not hurting somebody, right. we support you. Yeah. She puts down her macaroni and cheese. She goes, Mommy, I'm not a lesbian. But black eyes are hot. <laughs> I like that kid. I like that kid. They will just call you on your stuff, right? There's no way around it. When you're a mom, it's like you've got to be ready. They'll hit you.
They'll hit you. Right she, where they... she hits my dad, too, being really? the minister. I used to shock by wearing red leather pants and conducting the, the choir at the Methodist Church, Rockville United Methodist Church, um, outside of the Beltway in D.C. And you know they're conservative at that church. Oh, my goodness. And so I just loved seeing those ladies just with jaws dropping, tight red leather mm. boot, mm. 15. I mean, I could wear it then. You still can. Right? Well, um, larger size. Well, it's all but, right. It still works. You're rocking it. But I would teach, and my dad would just shake his head. Um, and the choir was packed. Right. I had 70 kids in my choir. Yep. So cut to last Christmas. We're sitting there, and my grandfather, my, her grandfather, my dad, says the prayer, as he always does, and uh, says, Natasha, that red bindi that you have here, which she was born with, a red dot on her third eye, he said, the Lord God has blessed you as one of his children and accepted you into the kingdom of Christianity. Oh. And she said, she puts down her chicken. She's always got something in her hand. She puts it down. She said, Granddad, do you know, over a hundred years ago, the Christians would have burned me at the stake. I would have been marked by Satan. Just for your information, the goddess Kali has blessed me with my bendy grin. Oh, honey, you did something right there. And my mother looks at me and says, yours was only red leather pants, honey. <laughs> It's too good, but they're the biggest joy in the world. Has your life totally changed since being a mom? In a one, in a, everything came together. Yes, for me too. The most beautiful thing. It's the best. Yeah. I'm so happy to see you. So happy for Honestly, you and your marriage. Thank you so much. It's exciting. You're welcome to come and enjoy the ceremony and play a little, but it's up to you because I wouldn't want to put you on the spot, but it's probably in June or July. I'll let you know at the okay, break. Okay, okay uh, Tori Abel, she's going to do a song from her brand new CD. Don't go away. We'll be back right after this.